unopened. I guess we did open it up because we put cams in it, but all the bottom end stuff is stock. The head is stock. We put valve springs in it. No ARP headsets, factory head bolts. It even has the original spark plugs in it. That's right, the ones that came with it. And after doing the turbo stuff, we just changed from the original oil that came with the motor. How much can we make with this crazy turbo stuff? This video, we took our JDM k 24 ish We'd already installed a set of Skunk 2 cams. We have the Skunk 2 intake manifold, and I wanted to run a turbo because I want to show you guys what Boost does. <laughs> so I configured my own turbo kit using the stock exhaust manifolds and a bunch of tubing that I had laying around from other turbo stuff that I had already done. And I know I'm going to get a lot of complaints. You should have used a, a stainless turbo would have made a million more horsepower. The reality is that's not the case. At this boost level, in this power range, getting all the exhaust to the turbo, even with something like this, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. You guys will be amazed because it doesn't look good, but actually it works fairly well. I got that turbo system. We got a small 62 millimeter turbo from Precision that has a long history, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But get the boost, go to the motor, rev that thing up. Good things will happen. Let's find out. Okay guys, I'm going to take you a little walk around here. We have a skunk manifold. As you can see, we've turned it around. Just facilitates making the turbo stuff all work. It's easier to connect. Normally this, this uh, intake manifold will be facing the other way. So this is all like we're going S2000 on it. We've got our manual wastegate controller. That's where all the fun is. Got some aluminum tubing. Got our blow off valve. This one's from TurboSmart. We've got an air to water intercooler. And we're running dyno wire through it right now as usual. I don't have any chart temperature readings for you. We're going to try to take some of those tomorrow. I've got the Type K thermal couple stuff and the digital readout. We're going to try to do that tomorrow. We've got three and a half coming out of our turbo. <laughs> so you've got this thing sleeved up. And this is a small precision turbo, and I think it's a 62 millimeter. This thing actually has a little bit of history. This is a record setting turbo. We used this, um, the guys from Suzuki hired us to do a land speed record project with a Suzuki Kazashi. If you look that up, look up World's Fastest Suzuki Kazashi, and you'll see this turbo was used on that thing, and we got that thing to go over 200 miles an hour. I think it went 203 or 204. But this is what I was talking about. Here's our three inch exhaust. I'd like to put a turbo on here that has something bigger than that. You can see it's a, this is a whole conglomeration of stuff going on here. But we've got two wastegates on this thing because I've run these elbows. These are from my LS turbo stuff that I used. We just wanted to make something work. So as you can see here, We've got the factory exhaust manifold on it. These guys welded this thing up for me. Put this elbow on here. I got this adapter. I got this adapter. I got this adapter. <laughs> I finally have the turbo. But we have two wastegates right now. We've got seven pound springs in them. And we're just adjusting with our manual wastegate control. But it seems to be working pretty well. We're able to go all the way up to 15 or 16 pounds, I think. And this thing already made 600 horsepower. So it just goes to show you. The reason that I did this, and I know everyone's going to say, yeah, that'll never fit in a car. It's not the right exhaust manifold. You'd make a lot more power with something else. But the reality is I wanted to show you that even with all of the wrong things, <laughs> with the stock plug, we did, we did uh, change the plug gap. We brought it down to 19 or 20. But even with the stock plugs or the wrong heat range, they're way too hot. With a stock exhaust manifold and this kind of... <laughs> Oh, this thing is all kinds of problematic. But even when everything is wrong, like on this exhaust system, if you get all of that exhaust to the turbo and get all of that boost through an intercooler into the motor, a Turbo K-Series makes a lot of power even when you do everything wrong.
as I was born ready. Hit it, Mr. Shelby. Okay guys, this is what you've been waiting for. We got the turbo up on the K24, about seven pounds, 422 horsepower. You see the difference between these two runs is we actually leaned it out a little bit here at the top. It was 11.0, we made it 11.5, so it made some good power. Now let's take a look and see what happens when we crank the boost up. Hey, look, it makes more power. That's another pound of boost on eight pounds. More boost. It's about nine and a half, 481. A little more boost, 498. Wouldn't give us 500, but it would give us 498. That's how it's doing it. Yeah, that's where we had a, <laughs> this is a little scary. We had a overboost rev limiter on, in the AEM and that kind of stopped the party for a second, but we regrouped and let it run all the way out that time, right near 550, 549. A little more boost, 568. A little bit more boost, 587. We even tried revving it out higher too. I'm not sure what's going on here out at the top where the power's falling off. We tried various things, uh, ignition timing, cam timing, tried air fuel. Nothing seemed to be doing it. Seventeen was a bad run. We stopped midway. There's a big guy right there. 605, 604.6. That's some good torque, 420 foot-pounds, 419.8. So you can see we're already over 600 horsepower. We've got that small precision turbo. This is about 15 pounds, 15 and a half pounds. We're gonna try some more turbos tomorrow. I've got a couple other ones we wanna try, the eBay GT45 clone, the 100, our $163 turbo. I've also got another turbo. I've got a VS Racing 7875. Remember. I have not changed the ring gap in this, so I'm not going to turn it up too high. It has no head studs in it. It's just got factory head bolts. It has the original factory spark plugs in it that came with the motor. And we just now, after we put the drain pan in the, uh, or the drain for the oil pan, we changed the oil. So all this time it had been running with the original oil that came with the motor <laughs> from the JDM supplier. Because that's how we do it, you know? Original filter, original oil. So we just changed it out. We put... Um, 520 oil in it and that that stuff was mobile one put a new filter on it now i'm also going to change the spark plugs we're going to put a uh, it has a factory heat range spark plug which is way too hot for what we're doing i'm going to put a colder heat range plug in we'll drive some more testing tomorrow with some different turbos the thing that i want to try is i want to try a bigger turbo this one has a this precision little one that uh has a three inch exhaust on it i want to try a turbo if for nothing else something with a bigger exhaust size outlet of the turbo. So we got something with a three and a half and I also have one with a four inch. So that should be good. Tune in tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, what do you think about part one of our turbo adventure with our K24A2? And yes, we are going to do a big bang with this, but not yet. I have to take this thing apart. I have to put ARP headsets in. I have to put ring gap in it because I have not put ring gap in this thing. We've just been running and I have no idea what the original ring gap is, but we're doing it anyway, because that's how we roll. Later on, I'm gonna do all of that stuff. We're gonna put a big turbo on it. We're gonna put the right header on it, and we're gonna turn it all the way up with ice water and good fuel and find out how much power the stock bottom end can actually take. But for right now, we ran this little turbo, we turned it up, we made good power. Make sure to check back with me tomorrow. We're doing more testing. I'm gonna try some different turbos, 
bigger turbos. We're going to find out what the spool rate difference is. Lots of cool stuff. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. More turbo testing coming up.